Happy Saturday! Happy Saturday! Today's unboxing review. Today's unboxing review. You are repeating what I said. <laughs> So today's unboxing review, we have a gigantic yeah. mystery box that just arrived at our doorstep yesterday and we promised we we're going to unbox it together today. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so let's see what's in this. First, we have a miniature one, series one. Stretch goals. Stretch goals. Ooh, ooh. And then we have series one miniatures uh, blacklist. And then we've got last but not least a lurker box and a whole bunch of bubble what? stuff that we're gonna put back in the box so we don't have to tidy up. And with that, which one should we open up first? This one. This one. Now a little bit of background. This company is called Blacklist Miniatures. Blacklist Miniatures! And they make a few games and if you remember Levi, uh, about uh, three months ago we played another game of theirs. Do you remember what that was called? Fantasy. No. No? No. It starts with uh, Ulta. Quest. Ulta Quest. That's right. So they made Ulta Quest as well. Anyway, uh, I ordered this a year ago, thinking to get into uh, Dungeons & Dragons. I thought it would be an excellent addition to how Dungeons & Dragons play with a lot of miniatures. So that's why I started ordering, ordering it. And it never arrived because of COVID and a whole bunch of other stuff. But now that we've got it, should we open it now? Yes! So which box should we open? They're all nicely packaged. This one, this one. This one first. All right, so this is the, what they would call the core box. All right, so let, I'm gonna put the fantasy stretch goal box to the side. This is absolutely massive, yeah? I it would be massive. So big, so yeah, we're just gonna put that to the massive. side. Yeah, seriously massive. And, uh, All right, well, let's see what's in here. We've got Some trays. two trays. All right, let's see what's in here. Let's, let's have a look. Okay, so these are pretty nice. Pretty. Ooh, look at these spiders, Levi. Look at this. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at the quality of that spider. Look at that too. Okay. And uh, what is this one? This is a little zombie. Just yeah. a little zombie. All right. Now uh, let's take them out and have a look. We've got five werewolves. Werewolves. I take the werewolves. Oh, wait, are these werewolves? Uh, no, they, they, uh, what are they? What are they? So let's have a look. We've got five orcs, five zombies, five trigodiates, five gnomes, gnolls, five giant rats. I think it could be one of those. Five giant spiders. So that would be giant spiders. We've got five skeletons, five imps, five oozes, and five giant worms. Yeah. And what else have we got in this box? One female human, human barbarian, one male cleric. Where are they? Where are my heroes? This one somewhere. Well, let's have a look. Walking at. Walking these. Well, let's have a look. Ah, oh, it's, it's here. Look. Here are the heroes. Yes. They used to be from Multi Quest. Okay. Next one. Next one. Next one will be this. Next one will be this. All right, so let's have a look at the heroes. Let's have a look at the heroes first. I I like it. Oh, look at these skeletons. Okay, that's kind of okay. So the skeletons, that's what they look like. Um, pretty good detail. Oh, look at these guys. 
Hmm. What's this? Uh, this is an orc warrior. Pretty cool. Next one we'll open is this. All right, we'll open this next. But let's have a look at what's in here first. Let's see what's inside there. Uh, yep, that's pretty cool. And this is a little no thief or halfling thief. Pretty cool. If you have a pack of those five goblins surrounding your uh, your adventurer, you're going to be in a bit of trouble. Okay, so that's. But let's put these to the side. Ooh, what are these? These are the workers. So what the lurker pack is supposed to be, it's um it's a companion to the to the Alter Quest game. So you can use these miniatures for Alter Quest. And I guess that is another uh, copy of each of the minions that's available for Alter Quest. Um, I'm gonna put it right here. So that's pretty cool. Um, oh this this guy is neat. This guy is very neat. That's what we call gargoyle, right? Gargoyle. Yeah, they turn to stone and stuff. They've got hard skin and they're pretty dangerous. So this is the... This guy is the gargoyle. Ooh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Ah, these must be the giant rats. Look at this guy. So this is the giant rat. I mean, if I was afraid of rats, I would be afraid of that. So that's pretty cool. So that's what they look like. All right, let's let's take them out and have a quick look. Let's see what they name. Giant worm. Giant worm. Yep. Ooze. Ooze. Imp. Imp. I like the artwork of this. Skeleton. Skeleton. Giant spider. Giant spider. Giant rat. Giant rat. No. A gnome. Trigodiite. Okay, trigodiite. Zombie. Zombie. Orc. Orc. Cobalt. Goblin. Goblin. So this pretty much represents all of these characters. Stretch goals. The more bigger box than any other. Right. Yes, I'm going to put this aside and let's open up the stretch goals box. Yes, I'm going to put this next to me. We've got one tray. One tray. Two trays. Two trays. Three trays. Oh, look at this. Three trays. All right, let's let's see what's in here. Big. Oh wow! Look at this. Look at this guy. Gigant. Look at this guy. It weighs uh, quite a bit. Can you, can you hold it? Uh, no, hold, hold here. Yep. How's that? That's the size of your face. Very big. And um, the the uh, the print of this is pretty good as well. I can imagine someone's gonna have a ball painting this one, because the if you can see on the camera here, the 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 greens and the lines are pretty well done. So that's gonna be hours of fun. And if you use something like a contrast paint, it's going to go right into the crevices and give you a great color. So that's pretty cool. Mm. Got some more lurker cards, but we'll uh, put this aside. Let's see what. We have got. You see, I want to see these again. All right, this is another set. All right, let's. This, have... this is the same as last one. Let's have a look. I've got a gigantic. This is the same one as last one. No, this is a different one. I'm sure it's different because that's a lurker pack. Giant worm. 
Giant worm. Okay, we still got a giant. Did I buy double because I had to buy the lurker pack? Did I pay for extras? Oh, I'm so silly. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Doesn't matter. So this is the guy. Um, so this looks like a giant uh, ogre. Yep. So he looks like a giant ogre. Yes. Pretty cool. And Pretty he's cool. big. Wow. Wow. Look at this one. If you have a look at the scale of this, this giant lady compared to a halfling, look at the size comparison. More bigger than a halfling. Just look at that. More bigger than a halfling. So what is this one? This is like a, oh, this is like a demon. Very cool. So if you see, I think the wings is always a good place to start because you know how well they're printed. I'll tell you, now, if you look again. at yeah, okay. Yeah, but if you look at the front, that's pretty impressive. I'll tell you the, again, with the same title. Okay, and a the giant king name. cobra. You just have to start again. So first, come in. Are you reading to us what's the lurker cards, is it? Yes. All right, go ahead. So first, giant worm. Giant worm. Next. Skeleton, giant spider, giant rat, no, trigoyite. I'm gonna put them in 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 some pile. Three, All right. four cards, four worker cards. So, cards. so just before while Levi was reading them out, I've just taken these minis out of the box, and I want to four show. Four worker cards per pack. And I do want to show. I'm gonna have a look down here now. The um, the amazing ensemble of these creatures. So, this is a. Uh, what does this look like? Like an air yeah, it looks like an air elemental. And if you look at the size of the air elemental compared to the the normal adventurer, um, the con oh, the con the contrast is pretty stark. He looks like a scary fella, and you can definitely see through him, which is super cool. And uh, comparing the air elemental, the water elemental, to a fire elemental. That this is one, pretty this, awesome. This miniature weighs up to 406 pounds. So big. I'm not sure if that's a fact, but uh, that, that's uh, nice to nice to know. So yep. many. No, so this is the air elemental. Yep, this is the air elemental. So big. 406 Rock pounds. elemental. Earth elemental. So they're all about the same size, and that is quite a bit bigger than the... Uh, than the normal adventurer. So I'm gonna just take these out now to give us a sense of scale. And some of these hero sculpts are really cool. So if you have a look at uh, this one, I like it. Um, so, the worker's names. That's very cool. So the worker's names. And then we have, uh, who's this guy? This looks like a, a vampire lord or a, a magician. And he actually looks good. He so looks the apart. Workers so the workers names I mean comparing this to a D&D &D model So the workers names were Trigoliite Giant Rat Giant Spider Goblin Cabold Giant Worm <laughs> Alright let's let's get back to uh, to looking at these no. miniatures Okay so they are Skeleton So many of these um, Zombie and ooze. It's really, really impressive. Now, one thing I'm worried about is I may not remember how to put them all back for storage. So I'm tempted to just end here because there are about... About tiny. How, how many are these? So let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, 17, and it just goes on and on. Now, based on the stats in Kickstarter, this is supposed to be 
200 or more miniatures. And I guess the most important thing is, well, what's the quality? What is the quality of these miniatures? And I would conclude they are pretty good. Pretty good for what you get uh, in terms of what you paid for. So that's all very, very impressive. Now, let's put this aside now. In my hand here, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the camera up a bit now. Okay, so in my hand here, I've got two miniatures from uh, Diachasm. Diachasm, which is uh, Warhammer Underworld. Now this is from Games Workshop and the quality of these models are, are known to be super high. So now if we take, uh, who's this, Mayamon's Banshees? It might be the Maiden. Yeah, the, this is the Screaming Maiden and Facilic, the gifted Facilic from the latest Diachasm Warband. Now if you put them next to some of these guys, um, you can see the, the base color, I mean the base size and the scale of some of these greater work games workshop mm -hmm. models but you're paying for a completely different price range for what you're getting so these guys clearly very detailed yes very detailed where's it compared to this guy like if i if i put these two miniatures next to each other the blacklist so mini guys yes that's right that's right. The Blacklist Mini Guys is not going to be as impressive as the Games Workshop ones. But Small, that's a different medium, price point. You're large. paying for a lot more with the Games Workshop Small, models medium, compared to these ones. Large. So if you look at these guys... So small, medium, large. Correct. So if you look at what you're getting for your bang for your money, uh, I would say these are fantastic because you can set up fantastic games with very this. Very large, very medium. And to what Levi said, these are very large and impressive models. I can imagine very how medium, much a dragon small. like this would cost you. Small. But it comes in this pack. I mean, mm. uh, it weighs probably half a pound, that one. What are you trying to say? Small, medium, large. Very small, very medium, very large. Very small. Very small. So these guys, I would say it's super cool because the number of miniatures you get with them is uh, just staggering. Now, keep in mind, some of the better, more of my favorite miniatures are not part of the normal box. This is part of the stretch goals. Yeah, so keeping that in mind would probably help you make the decision of whether you want to get one of these boxes yourself. I would say this Kickstarter version, the stretch goal version, is definitely worth it. Um, it's going to be hours and hours and hours and weeks and months of fun with these guys. But if you just have the core box though, and you don't have these stretch goals, you are looking at only... Two trays of minis. Yes, you'll, you'll be only looking at two trays of these minis. Um, instead of everything on the table. Yeah? Just two trays. Not everything. You're thinking about picking out one of these. Should you get it? Good question. Good question. The question is, how much do you want the minis, I think? Uh, if you want a set of standard minis to run your D&D campaign, I think the Series 1, the Fantasy Series 1, would be great. Great addition to any DM or, or Dungeons & Dragons player or people just like role-playing because the these uh, miniatures have pretty good poses. So yes, if we are thinking about uh, getting these guys into a game, I think that would be great because they've got great poses and the sculpts are good. Yeah, the sculpts are pretty good 
pretty good. And if you put this guy into a D&D game, they're gonna add an impact because that's one scary monster. <laughs> that's one scary monster. So that's very cool. If you get the standard box though, you will not have most of this cool stuff because this is from... These are all... From the stretch goals. You only get these guys and of course a couple of these boxes, right? Which is still a lot, uh, by no means a bad deal, so you still get a lot. So to continue this, is this a good deal? I would say Kickstarter pack, definitely a great deal because you get so much value for what you pay. But if you just get the core series, um, I think for someone in the market looking for miniatures to add more uh, variations and values to the game, uh, definitely, yep, it's good. I would say just based on this, so this is one, two, three, four, five, five times one, two, three, four, four. So that's five times six is 30, and then there are seven, 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 seven. 35 so you get 75 miniatures for under hundred dollars Pretty cool for what they are because I think these are totally usable I think it's pretty smart that they've done it in the packs of fives because you can use them for encounters and that would work pretty cool But if you have the Kickstarter version This is the next level stuff the Kickstarter Next level miniatures. They are massive. They are definitely worth it so if you guys like this, I would strongly recommend chipping to their next Kickstarter because I know the miniature series uh, for fantasy, it's coming out on Kickstarter again in uh, later Q1 2021. So if you find this cool, definitely invest in that. Of course, it will probably take you about a year, probably, for it to get to you. Um, but is it worth the wait? I would say if you are looking for miniatures, that's a definite yes. So, conclusion, review. How fun are these miniatures? I would say they are about four. Four, just the sheer volume of them. And they've got good poses. I like the pose. I like the material. Um, Comparing this to some of the other D&D uh, miniatures like uh, Temple of Elemental Evil, I like these ones a lot. Because in the Temple of Elemental, ge Elemental game, the rock elemental or earth elemental is half the size of this. So, very cool. Um, should you buy it? I would say yes. Levi, what do you think? Yes. Yes what? Yes. Yes to what? <laughs> yes, so uh, yeah, very cool. Um, and thank you for watching.